Hello everyone, the snowman here back with another uh, soccer or football instructional video. We've gone over different competitions like the Champions League, the FA Cup, the Europa League before. Today though, it's all about the English League Cup or the Carabao Cup as it's currently known as. So uh, we will go over questions like what exactly is the Carabao Cup, uh, which teams participate in this event, what is the format like, the schedule, everything you need to know about the English League Cup so you can uh, banter like a pro. We'll start off with a general definition of the League Cup or the EFL Cup. It's an annual knockout football competition in men's domestic English football. So this tournament takes place each year. We'll get to more on the schedule in a moment, but it's a knockout tournament, meaning if you lose one tie, then you're knocked out. And we're dealing with predominantly English teams, a few Welsh teams, but mostly uh, men's club teams in England. And the League Cup has been around for a long time, founded way back in 1960. It's a pretty similar event to the FA Cup with a few key differences. Uh, feel free to check out my FA Cup Explained video if you're not 100% comfortable with that as well. But the League Cup is just another trophy that uh, English teams are trying to get their hands on year after year. So which teams participate? Well, we mentioned that the Carabao Cup takes place in men's domestic English football. And more specifically, this competition is open to any club within the top four levels of the English football league system. What is the English football league system, you might ask? It's a series of interconnected leagues for men's association football clubs in England, also known as the Football Pyramid. This is how they organize all of their different leagues. So if you're used to uh, more American sports, you can kind of think of this like how Major League Baseball is at the top. Then we have the minor leagues, AAA, AA, single A. Uh, this is the pyramid that organizes and provides structure to the many men's football clubs in England. And going back to what we said a minute ago, the English League Cup is open to any club within the top four levels of the English Football League system. So that means all 20 20 Premier League teams participate in the League Cup, all 24 teams from the EFL Championship, all 24 teams from the EFL League One, and all 24 League Two teams as well for a total of 92 teams. Uh, the League Cup typically takes place uh, between these 92 teams each year. All of the other levels and divisions you see on this pyramid, National League, National League North and South, and so on, uh, those teams participate in the FA Cup, but not the English League Cup, which is what we're talking about today. Uh, FA Cup is all 10 levels, but League Cup just the top four, so less prestigious, less prize money is on the line, but it's still such an important part of the annual calendar for uh, many of these teams. One other note about the English Football League system, remember teams are constantly moving from each level up or down throughout a uh, system of promotion and relegation, and depending on how teams finish in their domestic competition, they can actually uh, graduate into higher leagues or free fall deeper down the ranks. I only say this to uh, demonstrate that it's never the same 92 teams competing in the English League Cup from year to year. Uh, each season we get two teams from the EFL League 2, which are relegated to the National League. In turn, two clubs from the National League get moved uh, up, so it's a very fluid situation. Uh, teams are constantly shifting throughout all these different levels and divisions. Just know the most important takeaway from right here is that the Carabao Cup is just for teams currently in the top four levels for a total of 92 teams. And a quick note about the schedule, it is an annual competition, so the matches for the League Cup are sprinkled in throughout the season, typically played on weekdays so that teams can still play their domestic league matches on the weekend. There are seven total rounds for the League Cup, and uh, most of it takes place early in the football year. In fact, the first four rounds are typically played in September, quarterfinals in December, semifinals then in January, and the final always takes place later in the season around late April. Moving on to the format now, we mentioned how it's a knockout tournament for 92 teams. Well, just like the FA Cup, the League Cup is formatted so that the better teams receive a competitive advantage by entering the event at later times. Uh, so you can see for our seven rounds, 70 of the 92 teams are active. They play in the first round. That's all the clubs from EFL Leagues 1 and 2 and most of the EFL Championship teams. Then in round 2, we had the last couple of championship teams along with 13 Premier League squads. And by round 3, we add in the remaining Premier League teams, uh, the ones in European competition. So by the third round, we have every team participating. Again, it's set up like this to give the better teams an advantage. Pretty similar to how in the NFL, uh, the best playoff teams receive a buy in the playoffs. They don't have to play as many games as the wild card teams. Same thing going on here. Looking at the format as a whole now, we have our seven rounds. Each 
round, we have a random draw pairing up every team with another. So we start with the 70 teams. They're all randomly drawn into 35 pairings for the first round. All matchups are a single leg played at the home stadium of whichever team is drawn second, I believe. All games are one 90-minute contest. If the game is tied after 90 minutes, then we go straight into a penalty shootout. Since 2018, the League Cup doesn't do extra time if the matchup is even. They just go straight into penalties. We rinse and repeat this process. Then the 35 winners move on to the second round as we add 15 more teams for round two. And in the second round, we have another random draw where all the teams are paired up. Winners move on to the third round. From there, we have 32 teams. And then it just keeps being uh, whittled down 32 to 16 to 8 to 4. One exception is in the semifinals. The semis are the one round where it's not a single leg event. Uh, it's actually a two leg tie. So for the semis, teams will play once at home and once on the road. Whichever team scores more goals uh, on aggregate will advance to the final. And the final is the one round that's always played at a neutral site, always played on the weekend as well, typically a Sunday at Wembley Stadium in London. Another single 90-minute match with penalties if necessary to determine a champion. Again, not as prestigious as the FA Cup, but it uh, never hurts to add the EFL Cup to the trophy cabinet. And a couple of other side notes about the English League Cup. The winner does qualify for a spot in the following season's Europa League competition. Uh, that is a continental European event that takes place every year. They also qualify for a newer competition called the UEFA Europa Conference League. And the League Cup winner uh, also receives 100,000 pounds. Runner-up gets 50,000. Not quite as much for the FA Cup champion, which gets 2 million. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully you learned something uh, new about the English League Cup. Uh, please check out my other soccer, football, instructional videos. Learn about some other competitions. But if you want more content, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media. And I'll see you real soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers.